Hey guys, this is Jay with PogPoolSpa.com. Today I'm going to be talking to you about calcium hardness and how you can test the calcium hardness levels in your pool and spa water. The first thing you need to know is the ideal levels. Calcium hardness is expressed in parts per million, or PPM. The current industry standard level for calcium hardness is 200 to 400 ppm in pools and 150 to 250 ppm in spas. Keep in mind that different testing methods have different levels of precision. The drop test is going to be more accurate as it uses drops instead of blocks to show results. However, test strips are much easier to use. Test strips are simple and effective ways to measure your chemical levels. Here at PogPoolSpa.com, we always recommend using test strips. You can figure out your chemical levels in four easy steps. Step 1. Immerse the test strip 6 inches underwater for 2 seconds. Step 2. Pull the strip out of the water, pads first. Step 3. Shake once to remove excess water. Step 4. Read the results. Test Kits Using test kits, you can do a drop test. These will be much more accurate than a test strip, however, they will be more difficult to perform than one also. You will require the correct reagent, reagents, which we have for sale at PogPoolSpa.com. The chemical reading is in parts per million. Here are the basic steps needed to perform a drop test. Step 1. Fill a test cell with pool water, making sure you reach down 18 inches into your pool when you take the sample. Step 2. Add the specified amount of the calcium buffer. Step 3. Add the specified amount of the calcium indicator. If calcium is present, sample will turn red. Then add the calcium hardness reagent while swirling and counting each drop until the color changes to blue. Then multiply the amount of drops needed by the amount specified on the test kit. Your water may turn purple, and you may wonder why. Sometimes, when you test calcium hardness, you get a purple endpoint instead of blue. This is called the fading endpoint, and is caused by metal ions interfering in the testing process. To fix this issue, simply add five or six drops of the hardness indicator to the water prior to adding the buffer and indicator. Make sure you add the amount of drops used at the beginning of the test to the amount needed to turn the new sample blue. This has been Jay. Remember to visit us at PogPoolSpa.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe.